What's up, family? On Tuesday, a federal judge issued a bombshell ruling saying that the Biden administration likely suppressed free speech by policing social media. But who didn't know that? Now, what I want to know is what time and day can we expect to check out the perk walk? Yeah, lock them up. Lock them up. Lock all of them up. Including the one who was hitting that crack cocaine. They called it cocaine, but I'm sure it was crack. I'm sure it was crack. They don't want to say it was crack, but I think it was crack they found in the West Wing of the White House. Yeah, fam, cold blood. In a preliminary injunction issued by U.S. District Judge Terry Doughty, the judge ordered a slew of federal agencies and more than a dozen top officials not to communicate with social media companies about taking down content containing protected free speech that posted on those platforms. Now check this out, fam. Most of the content that they were striking down involved COVID-related subjects. And check this out. Also, Hunter Biden's computer. Everybody wanna know what's on that computer. Well, not everybody, the Republicans mainly. They wanna know what's on that computer. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, what 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 could be on Hunter Biden's computer? You know, uh, what about some crack at? You know, like, you know, the safest place to smoke crack. You know, stuff like that. He probably was googling stuff like that. You know, like harmless stuff. I mean, at least to everybody else. I mean, I, I'm just not interested in Hunter Biden's computer like that. I would be more interested in. Well, we'll get to that later. But I want to say this, fam. I know some of you Trump Trumpets are salivating right now. And don't get too excited because I don't like Trump or Biden. That's right. I said it. Two wings on the same old raggedy racist bird. Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't like either one of those suckers. Indict the entire cabinet. want to do something for the people, indict the entire cabinet. All of them were there. It happened on their watch. The same thing happened when Trump was in office. The same thing happened when Barack was in office. The government runs these companies and they run mainstream media. They always have been in cahoots with mainstream media. This, is, this was a big part of their propaganda machine to make black folks look bad. Yeah, and I know some of you well, well, why would the government just purposely try to make black people look bad? So that, so that they could justify their mistreatment of us? That's why. That's why you have people that come here, foreigners come here and look down on black folks it's the gov it's the US government and the media who has perpetuated those negative stereotypes. They start them and they perpetuate them. So yeah, they've always been in cahoots, man. That's why I, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. When I anytime I'm checking out mainstream media, man, I'm I never take their word. Even if they tell me it's gonna rain, man, I like, man. Let's see. I don't trust them, man. I don't trust them at all. All of social media has confessed that they have been forced at one time or another by government officials to 
take down certain things and promote certain things. Same thing with police agencies. Man, they all, they all on the same team, man. What I want to know is, where are the consequences? So yeah, okay. You told them they got to stop talking to social media. We already know that they were uh, manipulating the news. And boy, are there any consequences? That's what I want to know. Where are the consequences? Those in the government who are responsible for violating the people's right, constitutional rights, where is the consequences? Where are the consequences? That's what I want to know. I need to know. I need answers. I don't trust none of them. None of them. So right now, it's Biden time, but same thing happened on Trump watch. Same thing happened on Barack watch. Same thing happened on both Bush's watch, the Clintons, the George Washington watch. All of them. All of them, man. It's always a game with them. It's always something tricky. Always something where they're using the public as a pawn. They're always doing something. And, and this is another thing that they're doing, fam. When, when y'all see all of this hate video out here, that's all propaganda. When y'all see even the shootings where you see all black people getting killed and stuff all the time, it's all propaganda. It's real, don't get me wrong, when people getting killed, it's real. But the way that they feed us a heavy dose of it, the way that they allow those images to be seen, they don't even blur them out when it's black people. Most of the time, they won't blur them out. But you remember when those uh, white folks killed each other? What a white man killed his neighbors in the snow, then killed himself? Remember how they just, they not only did they blur the faces, they actually stopped the video and where well, you could only hear the gunshots. They wouldn't even let you see the bodies drop. That's part of the propaganda. Why would they do that? Because they don't want you get to get immune to seeing white folks getting gunned down and white folks acting a fool, killing each other. This is the same reason why they, they when anytime there's a lone wolf or there's a mass murder, they immediately start trying to blame it on mental health. You know, they start immediately trying to blame it on his mama and his daddy. That's why, you know, he lost his job. He was sick, you know. They try to do things like that immediately. And then they always say, he was long wolf, you know, isolated incident, isolated. And so for his crimes, he stands on his own merits. For, for a black person, oh, they finna change laws and, and everybody get it. One black person do something bad, oh, everybody's bad. Y'all know how they do propaganda, fam. It's all part of the propaganda machine. So I don't trust none of them, fam. I don't trust none of them. You know, before I go, I want to say this. I know I started off saying it's a bombshell because I guess that's the catchphrase. Bombshell, get your attention, right? <laughs> it always seemed to be a bombshell, but it never explodes or hits a target. I guess I'm doing too much trying to take things literally. Anyway, drop a comment, fam. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.